I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Chet Sweet, the cemetery manager here, and uh, just wanted to offer you all a warm welcome and thank you for being here today. It looked like we had a great turnout, um, had some good weather, so appreciate you all coming out on a kind of a chilly day. I um, want to thank all of our uh, um, sponsors that we have that help every year to help make this possible. Um, if it wasn't for our sponsors, you know, out there striving to try to get Reese and went for family members and people in the community buying wreaths, you know, this wouldn't be possible. And uh, to let, uh, to purchase a wreath and come out here and place them on the graveside, it lets everybody know that, uh, that they're not forgotten and that they're still remembered. And we appreciate that very much. Um, I uh, did want to say that, again, along that line, it's we're so appreciative of people doing that. Um, every year here, unfortunately, we add about 200 <coughs> sites. And uh, it gets a little tougher every year to try to, to fulfill this goal of putting a wreath on every site. And, um, but thanks to you, we, we made that this year. Um, so we'll have enough to do that. And with just a few left over for future burials coming up in January. Um, but again, thank you everybody for all their hard work involved. And Joe Warney, I wanna thank you for um, all that you do um, for helping us track things and uh, appreciate that. Um, right now, um, I'm about to introduce uh, Major Randolph Colby, Silver Arrow Patrol, <coughs> Kansas Wing Chaplain. And Chaplain Colby is the one that really helps organize uh, this a lot this year and is the MC of it and makes sure everybody knows who's laying a wreath and all those kind of things. And he does a lot of hard work. Uh, he's, a, he's a busy man, and, but he finds time to, to put his efforts towards this. Um, and I appreciate him very much. And uh, at this time, I want to introduce Chaplain Colby. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a minute of silence to remember the fallen, the prisoners of war, the missing in action, and honor those who have served and are serving in this great nation's armed services. Almighty God, today at this holiday season we are gathered to remember and honor those veterans who served our nation. They served during times of uncertainty and fear, times much like we face today. These men and women rose to the challenge of protecting and defending everything we hold most dear. We are thankful today for their sacrifice and service. Most returned home from service and war the family and friends, and were able to bless and serve us for many years. Some, however, gave their last full measure of devotion on a faraway battlefield. Some, sadly, returned home to broken hearts and unfilled dreams. May our efforts today, as we lay wreaths on their graves, bring comfort to family, friends, and surviving veterans. May these efforts give inspiration to all who may follow in their footsteps. Amen. Amen. Color guard, post the colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem, which will be sung by Mackenzie Wheeler as the colors are raised. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. At this point, I would like to welcome Jim Butterball. 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 Sorry there. Jim Butterball of the Post 10 of the American Legion here in Winfield, Kansas, for a few remarks. Jim. Thank you, Chaplain. As he said, I'm Jim Butterball. I'm a U.S. Navy uh, Vietnam veteran. And I'm pleased to be here with you this morning to, um, for this very solemn occasion. <clears throat> From the Revolutionary War to our present day conflicts, our veterans, all devoted sons and daughters, fathers and mothers, sisters and brothers, they came from all backgrounds in life to place their lives on the line for our freedoms. And they all have their own stories to tell. Each December on National Reefs Across America Day, our mission to remember, honor, and teach is carried out by wreath-laying ceremonies from Arlington National Cemetery, as well as more than 1,600 cemeteries in all 50 states, at sea, and abroad. We understand we have Veterans Day in the fall and Memorial Day in, in the spring. But these headstones represent the sacrifices made every day of every year to protect our freedoms. There is no better way to express our gratitude during the hustle and bustle of the holiday season. We do this to honor their service, to show our veterans, their families, and the community we will not forget and they will never be 
forgotten. As we take on this discipline to never forget our deceased veterans and our families, let us remember the words of Abraham Lincoln, and I paraphrase, honor to the soldier and sailor everywhere who bravely bears their country's cause. Honor also to the citizen who cares for their brother or sister in the field and serves the best they can that same cause. May God bless those we honor today, and may God bless you for caring enough to be here today for our common cause. Thank you. We are gathered here today at this memorial site and memorial sites all across America to remember that we are one nation with one flag. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of free people, many races, from many walks of life. The freedoms we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying here before us and in cemeteries throughout this nation are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom and without fear. We can worship as we see fit. We can raise our children to believe as we do. We can travel from one end of this great nation to the other and not have to ask anyone's permission. We are free to vote for whomever we feel should be in government office, and we answer to no one but our own feelings and our own God. We have the right to succeed, and we have the right to fail at whatever endeavor we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free, and we shall not forget you. We shall remember. Today, many of you here are veterans of wars and conflicts that America has had to fight to protect the innocent and oppressed. America has always been the first nation to stand up for the freedom of people from around the world. Many of you here today have answered that call and served your country well. We are here today to say thank you, and we are honored to know you. There are many men and women serving today in all branches of the military, here at home, and in places far away that most of us have never heard of. These men and women are part of the best trained, best equipped force in the world. We honor them and their families for the sacrifices they make each day to keep our country safe from terrorism, hatred, and injustice that plague our world community. When you see a veteran or an active duty member of the armed services, please take a moment to say thank you. We owe them our life, our way of life, and a moment of your time is well spent. Quoting our 40th president of the United States, Ronald Reagan, Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. Today we show a united front of national unity all across the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom. So now as we lay the wreaths, we honor the services themselves. Terry Justice representing the Sons of the Union Veterans of the Civil War will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Army.
Should be half up, should be half the very end. We've got an eight hole, there it is. <laughs> And now Mr. Dick Croft of the Sons of the Confederate Veterans will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the Marine Corps. Now Becky Hunter of the Kansas Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Navy. Now Cadet Technical Sergeant Destiny Roberts of the Emerald City Composite Squadron of the Civil Air Patrol will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Air Force. Now, Mr. Don Lehman of the Washington chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Coast Guard.
And now Mr. Brian Page of the American Legion Post 408 will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. Now, Mr. Mike Juarez of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 2151, will lay a remembrance wreath in honor of the 93,129 United States servicemen from all branches of the service whose last known status was either prisoners of war or missing in action. These individuals have never returned to their families and homes. We shall not forget you. The wreaths before you represent our commitment as a united America to remember the fallen. We also want these remembrance wreaths to symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free but have come with the cost that someday you may have to pay for yourself. As a nation standing together, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, injustice. Thanks to our veterans, we have the freedom to do just that. We could quote for you the statistics of individuals buried around the country, but all you would have is a bunch of numbers. We instead ask you to take a moment and visit a gravesite. Write down the information on the person placed there, and when you return, research their name, and find out all you can about this person. You will find they were real Americans, with families, mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles. They were and are more than just a statistic. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming today. After taps and rifle volleys, please remain afterwards for a few words of instruction about how the individual wreaths will be laid on the grave from Mr. Sweet. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're able, please stand for rifle volleys presented by the American Legion and VFW, followed by taps performed by Brad Turgeon. 